Welcome back to Duke University. Mike Joy alongside Craig Masback and Dan Jiggetts. Watching Leroy Burrell, the fastest man in the world last year, get set for the 100 meters. There's his mentor, Olympic speedster Carl Lewis. In my opinion, Carl is the epitome of track and field. Uh, he's competed so well, so long, and on a very, very consistent basis. And uh, if I can only be half as consistent as Carl, uh, I feel so I'd be a success. Carl Lewis listed as a volunteer coach for the Houston Cougars. Burrell prefers to think of him as a friend and advisor. There's Burrell's dad with the binoculars. Lewis, the world record holder at 992, but Burrell has run a 994. And I think he has a real shot at breaking that world record this year, although other people may run faster also. Well, he would run right out of Carl Lewis's shadow should he do that. Here's Andre Kaysen from Texas A&M. Kaysen beat Burrell at the indoor NCAA championships. He hasn't been as effective in the latter part of this outdoor season. Here are the lane assignments, and note that two freshmen, both football players, are in the final eight. Bates from Arizona and Trapp from Clemson. Watch Burrell at the start. He says he has to react well to the gun to win this race. James Trapp in lane eight is out quick, the freshman from Clemson. Now, here comes Burrell beginning to pour it on, and it's Burrell. Andre Kaysen in second, but it's Burrell all alone, several steps ahead of the field. 9.97 unofficially. Fastest time in the world this year if it holds up. And he sees that clock. He's just dancing with it. And Carl Lewis looks very pleased. 9.94 seconds officially. That W means it was wind aided. Over 2.0 meters per second wind at his back. He didn't need any wind. He reacted very well to the gun. And then his acceleration at the end of the race is just so far superior to everybody else's. Look how incredibly powerful he is at the end. He reached his top speed and maintained it all the way to the tape. What Burrell celebrates at the finish, his mentor knew would be a good run from the start. Let's watch Lewis, the 81 winner of this event, as he views Burrell's performance. He got it, he got it, he got it, he got it. What a coaching team. Carl Lewis assisting head coach Tom Telez and sprint coach Mike Takaha to make this man the fastest runner in the world this year. Burrell does a bit of celebrating with family and to an appreciative crowd. He thoroughly dominated the men's 100 meters over Kaysen and Fredericks. It took Burrell until his final try to win his first outdoor title.